be working with a 14 inch wreath frame. Oh, wait. Yep. No, it's about a 15 inch. These were the older ones. And we're going to do the curls. I cut three colors at 10 inches each. So we're going to put one in each. Who else we have on? Anybody else? Want to say hello? Tell us where you're from. We're just going to roll these up, put them in our bow dabber to hold them, and then cinch them down. Look at those colors together. Don't they pop? Beautiful. Guess nobody feels like talking today. With everybody napping. And just have me on as background noise so they can go to sleep. The green and the pink are a metallic. As you can see the metallic running through the middle. Anytime you have metallic running through the middle of your mesh, it's a really, it's a really strong mesh. It'll hold up. Well, thank you. We love having you. I'm hiding down here in the basement because as soon as my husband comes home and finds out that my car was just inspected and it needs four new tires. He's going to freak. It's only the second year I've had the vehicle. It's new to me, but last inspection we had to replace all the brakes and the rotors and all that. Now this time, all the tires. So he's going to have a fit. So like I said, I'm hiding down here. I don't want to be upstairs when he comes home from pickleball. No. I'm better off letting him handle it. And I don't know if you guys have been watching, but I finally hit 5,000. And I was giving away a free bow that I was going to make on on a live and the person Debbie is her first name I I know expensive <laughs> um, she keeps popping up on my page and I keep trying to tell her you won the bow so I'm gonna give her till Saturday and if she doesn't claim it we're gonna give it away again so keep watching And then when I hit a thousand, which we're at six hundred and some right now, we're gonna give away a wreath. There she is. Hi Levine. Hi Harless. How's my buddy? I said I gave away the bow. Debbie won the bow, and she hasn't. She hasn't responded to anything that I've sent her, telling her she won. So, if she doesn't respond by Friday, we're going to give it away again. Thank you. So appreciate that. If you want to know when I go live, type a word in the comment. Usually the word like will trigger it. And my bot will send you a message and you have to reply with a word to get notified when I go live. I did put all the links at the top of the page. Link to my Etsy store, link to my YouTube channel, and a link to my bot. And 
I finally got an eye appointment, so they're going to see me on when Monday, so hopefully I can get rid of these darn glasses. I can't see. I ripped my last contact, so... Glad that's next week because this week is turning out to be expensive enough. Do you guys have a week like that where everything starts hitting you at once? We're going to add some Gerber daisies to this. Um, let's see. It's a 15 inch wreath base and all my curls here are cut at 10 inches. And I'm stacking three at a time. And guess what? You all who were on my page on Monday night, and I kept getting kicked off, it was my Mevo. My Mevo has a little card in it, and it was full. So, we got it dumped, and hopefully we're good to go now. I knew the sucker was in there. I mean, I put it in there, so I should have known it was in there. But I didn't. I know, right? Aren't they? Oh, man, these colors are just going to pop. This is a wreath I made a long time ago, and I took it apart, and I'm redoing it. Because... The, the old curls were probably about six years old, and the pink was starting to fade from the sun. So, it was time to spruce it up again. I had so many compliments on it then, because of the colors. And it's like, bring it back. It was a beautiful wreath. So I know you. I know Levon liked the uh, the puppy video. Did anybody else see the puppies get their first bath? I posted it on my page here. Doesn't that look pretty so far? Ooh, sparkly. If you're just popping on, let us know where you're from. Maybe everybody's eating or they're on their lunch break. They can't talk or type. I don't care. I'm just down here hiding in the basement. I'm telling you that my car has needs four new brand new tires. Hi Katrina. What's it like in Philly today? Hi Tequila. Put some stuff on your your page. Your detail. De <gasps> what is the name of it? The stash, right? I already sold some butterflies and I sold some spiders. No, I'm not ready for tomorrow, Bobby. But thanks to Bobby, my, my Mevo is working just fine, and we will not get kicked off again. And I was just telling you, Nina, um, Bobby, my car went in for inspection, and it needs four new tires. So, I'm hiding in the basement because I don't want to hear my husband when he comes in the door. <laughs> Hi, Deb from Kentucky. 
The reef frame is 15 inches. It's an older frame. This was a design I did over six years ago, and I had so many compliments on it, and it was starting to fade, so I ripped everything out, and we're putting all new in. We're bringing it back to life. Oh, thank you. Tequila is one of our cubbies. So. I know. Did you just get yours back, Bobby? Bobby's the one who put together the little video of the uh, baby's first bath. The puppy's first bath. Levon is so appreciative of that Bobby. She just wanted to see the babies get the first bath and she got to enjoy it. So she was really happy. Well, that's good. I did wreathing way before I found um, Lori. So, but I decided to take it to the next level. In memory of my mom, she made floral wreaths. And after she passed, um, I brought all her wreaths here. And one by one, I take them apart during a holiday and revamp them and give them to my kids. You watched it three times? <laughs> I should have taken a video of them today. Boy, they're really wound for sound today. And I put the, the big sliding board in. So they're having a blast. And of course, little Miss Miracle, she's been spending a lot of time with them too. She enjoys playing with them now. Her mom looks like heck right now because she pulled out her hair bow because she's jumping and, you know, playing with her mom all over her mom's head as her mom's laying there. So she's really going. I cut my, my curls, my rolls, at um, 10 inches to kill. Three colors. The um, pink and the green. The green has a lot of metallic in it. The pink has just one row of metallic in it. And there's no metallic in the yellow. Like I said, this is this is an oldie, but the colors just pop. We're going to put some Gerber daisies on it. And I'll show you a trick when I, when I cut the Gerber daisies. When I get the Gerber daisies, they usually come like this with this long, long stem. All right, when I cut them... I actually took the stem and twirled it around a piece of PVC pipe because it just gives it another dimension in the wreath. Like the flower will sit there, but this kind of sticks up and just gives it another pop. I try not to let anything go to waste. that we had just enough 
And oh, I've got a surprise for you guys. I just got my my um, order in for my fall stuff. And there's some Christmas stuff in there. Does anybody know what a charger plate is? or what you think it might be. It's called a charger plate. Okay, there we got all the colors in there. Isn't that awesome? <laughs> yes, you got it, Bobby. Thank you, Yvonne. Uh, that hair of mine came from England. My grandmother, this was her hair. Her color, everything. Okay, I'm gonna, I can't, I can't wait. I gotta open them and I gotta show you because these are just awesome. Okay, you all know I have a brother cut and scan okay that it's like a cricket but it's brother's version of i'm loving this well i do a lot of my own signs too look at this isn't this going to look awesome for christmas i can put my own saying on there or a picture even like white like merry christmas or Happy holiday or anything like that. Then I got to figure out a way to mount it to the to the to the wreath. We're not using this one, but isn't that awesome? I know, right? Then oh, that's not all tequila. Let me see if I have the other one in here. Christmas, but this one is for fall. You could even use these to make a sign and just put some kind of hanger on it and maybe a few florals. But look at that one. Isn't that to die for? Yes, that's what I thought, Deb. Won't that look adorable? And then, and this is what I did for our sign swap. For our sign swap, I had the, um, I, I did the pumpkin sign and I put glitter on it. Well, I got some acorns and some leaves, two different kinds of leaves. So I'm going to glitter those and put those on the sign. Isn't that awesome? And I got snowflakes. And I got fall picks. So we're gearing up. But I, I, I never knew what a charger plate was. I know, right? It's beautiful. It would even look pretty on a holiday underneath what it's originally for. Underneath, the, um, you know, the plate. All right. Now, what I did with some of these, I cut them and then I glued the leaf to the back. So, we're going to be putting those around. I have some... Um, dark pink ones and 
I have a few yellow ones. See, and then I just attach that to it. I had bought these blue ones, but I bought these for something else, but I mainly wanted to show you that they come with this like, it's almost like a flocked stem, plastic stem with flocking on it. And that's what I use to curl up. So right now we've got three of these. Um, I have some butterflies. Of course, we have to do glitter. And then some more of those tails. There's a yellow one I can add in there. There's another yellow one. That's not the same. Or I can just add a big butterfly. I'm not liking that color against this though. But that might work, that butterfly. So let's get these down in here. I'm going to turn on my glue pot because I may have to glue some of them in place. So we have two yellow ones and three dark pink ones. I know, aren't they? They're they're beautiful. I just, as soon as I saw them, I'm like, that's it. I have to uh, do something with those. This one, I'm going to turn it around. I know they do, they do remind me of the Woolwich patterns. But that, that check is always a hot um, color for Christmas. Now this year, the, the newest um, colors for, for Christmas are red and teal. They're the hot colors this year. Red and teal mixed together. Did you know that? Bobby would, because I think I shared that with my class. I do wreath classes out of my home, and uh, Bobby has come to a few of my classes. So we got one, two. They got four signed up for tomorrow night's class. We're doing a um, unique in the creek sunflower. Bobby's mom wanted to learn how to make one. So more to wire up. So how's everybody's day going so far? 
We all know mine's been expensive, but <laughs> how's your day going? <laughs> Like I said, we got a couple of butterflies. I may just use the orange one. And I may turn it this way. And we may put our flowers over here. And then put the yellow one there. And and a yellow one here boy that green one wants in this wreath so bad it keeps sticking to it so that's where I'm going to put those I'm just kind of checking myself here Look, my bit, my uh, Mevo isn't kicking me off. This one in here. I don't know. I may use the second bow, too. I mean the second butterfly. Maybe we'll just kind of put that on there. Nope. Nope.
think I'll make the bow first and then see where we are. Hi, Monica. Welcome. We're just messing around here. We used a 15 inch wreath base. I cut three colors, the yellow, pink, and green at 10 inches. We've added the flowers to our wreath. I cut off the stems and we twirled the stems. Just to give it another little bit of dimension. And now we're gonna make a bow. Because before this had a bow, but um, I wasn't liking it. And I'm going to go with all polka dots. Because I feel like going with all polka dots. And I think I'm going to use this as the back of the bow. Give it a little sparkle. Thank you. All right, so I need my bow. My wreath is alive again. I love it. So And then trim this. Need some room. There we go. All right. Now I'm going to do about fourteen inch. Tail and probably about a six inch loop. And I'm really just using this because I want some height in the back. And this is mesh ribbon. This is like four inch mesh ribbon. And it's got some sparkles to it. Thank you, Susie. Susie's my biz buddy. The mesh ribbon always has like a mind of its own. Wish you could just take an iron to it, <laughs> but you can't. Again, 14 inch tail. And I'm gonna make this just a little bit shorter than that one. I think I'm going to do four of the, uh, the yellow. Yeah. It's going to cut it. I didn't want to cut it. I do. Thanks, Monica. All 
right, now we're going to do the green polka dots. And I think I'm going to go two on this one. So we're going to do two, four, two, four. And then possibly a three. I'm going to go just a little bit shorter than the, the yellow polka dot. Hi Cheryl, glad you're doing okay. Now I'm using this one because it has all three colors in it and it's got sparkles. So we're using a 14 inch tail and then we're gonna do four of these just a tiny bit smaller than the green. And I don't know if I want to add this or not. Let's see what else we got. going to stick with polka dots. We're just going to do polka dot, polka dot, polka dot. What the hey? Because we can. And I'm going to do three of this one because I want that middle, middle loop. We just want to make this wreath look fun. And I think this combination is going to make it look fun. Whimsical. Now, where are my zip ties? Find I can get a better grip on the zip ties then I can the wire but we want to put the wire through it and there it is right in front of my face because I'm wearing these darn glasses I can't see it
Aw, thank you. Okay. Fluffing it up. I need my fluff box, ladies. There we go. All right, let's do this. Hi, Danita. Okay, get this on.
Okay. I think we're done. <laughs> Trying to figure it out. It goes backwards here on this. There we go. We got all our flowers on there and our butterflies. And we're done. Thanks, Susie. I think we're good. Just have to trim some of this and then we can post it. Yes, very festive. Thank you. I just love the color combination. And I wanted to do polka dots, so I think we got it. Okay. I hear my hubby's home. So I get to go up and figure out where we're going to go buy tires. Thank you, Yuna. I love Gerber daisies. They're one of my favorite. I don't know. I still might stick two green ones in here. They've been dying to get in here. Because there was like a hole there and a hole right there. So maybe just two. I'll figure it out. All right, ladies. I will see you all soon. We'll be on live again next Monday night, 6.45. Okay? Anybody have any questions? All right, then. I'll see y'all later. Thanks for stopping. Thanks for sharing. The love. Spreading the love. All right. See you later.